Prepare the plastic container by placing strips of surgical tape to both the inside and outside of the base at each end. Next, mark the drill sites. For a single vessel model, mark the model at the midline at a depth of one centimeter from the base. For a two vessel model, create markings which are two centimeters apart. This will result in holes that are spaced one centimeter apart from each other. For the third vessel, position this centrally but deeper, marked at 1.5 centimeter angles from the existing two dots. Reinforce the area to be drilled by placing a thick book or some thick cardboard behind the wall. Then use a 6mm wood drill bit to create the vessel holes. Before filling the mock vessels with jelly, you need to remove any existing air. So insert the syringe and withdraw. You can then pinch the end of the balloon either with a surgical clamp or your fingers to stop any air re-entering. Remove the plunger from the syringe and insert the ultrasound jelly into the bottom of the syringe. That way, when you reinsert the plunger, you can move the jelly up to the top of the syringe and expel air bubbles as you go. Then fill the emptied balloon with jelly and tie the end. Thread the mock vessel through the holes made by the drill sites. Next, use accurate scales to weigh out your agar-agar powder. Use an 8 gram per 100 ml concentration. Our Tupperware sizes use 600 ml of liquid and therefore 48 grams of agar-agar powder. Make sure that you use freshly boiled water to dissolve the agar-agar powder. Measure out your volume of liquid. Gradually pour in the agar agar powder in increments, continuously stirring as you go. At the end, if any clumps have formed, you can use the back of the spoon to break these apart. Stir in the disinfectant liquid. We used 40 millilitres. Pour the solution into your mould containing your mock vessels and leave this to set for two hours. Removing the model from the mould can be tricky. Slide the vessels out until they are just poking through one end. You can then pull these through that end of the plastic. Having surgical clamps or tweezers here can be helpful to pull them up through. When the liquid has set, sometimes there are cracks in the surface. And for this reason, to use your model, you will remove it from the mould to use the base as the surface. Once you have one side out, it is then easy to remove the model from the mould. The models can be easily stored by putting them back in the box. You don't need to thread the balloons back through as they will simply fold over when you place the lid. Your model is now ready to use. It won't melt at room temperature and because of the Dettol will not need to be stored in the fridge.